Hi, hello everyone. Today we will discuss the preparation and uses of whole blood and the blood components. Basic blood components are red blood cells, platelets, fresh frozen plasma, cryoprecipitate, anti-hemophilic factor, granulocytes. First we will know what is whole blood. Blood collected before separation into components is called as whole blood. Components means parts of the whole blood that are separated. A sterile system of blood collection is called as closed system. When the collection is exposed to air, decreasing the expiration date, then it is called as open system. Collection basis. Blood is collected in a primary bag that contains anticoagulant preservatives. Satellite bags may also be attached depending upon the component that is needed. Anticoagulant preservatives minimize the biochemical changes and will increase the shelf life of the donated blood. Blood component preparations. Components. Components of whole blood are centrifuged using light spin, short term, low RPM and heavy spin that is longer spin, high RPM. Procedure. What are required? Centrifuged blood, buffy coat, WBC and platelets will be there. Red blood cell, plasma or serum whole blood and the component requirements will be it will they will be stored in between 1 to 0 degree centigrade while shipping 1 to 10 degree centigrade the shelf life will be 21 or 35 days depending on the preservative used cpd or cp2d or cpda1 and it consists of rbc's wbc's platelets and plasma with anticoagulant one unit of the whole blood will increase hemoglobin by 1 gram per deciliter and hematocrit by 3%. When is it used? Patients who are actively bleeding and lost more than 25% of the blood volume, then whole blood is used. Coming to exchange transfusion. Whole blood is human blood from a standard blood donation and it is used in the treatment of the massive bleeding and in exchange transfusion and when people donate blood to themselves. One unit brings up hemoglobin level by about 1 gram per deciliter. Cross matching is typically done before the blood is given. It is given by injection into a vein. Side effects include allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis, red blood cell breakdown, high blood potassium, infection, volume overload and lung injury. Whole blood is made up of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and blood plasma. It is best within a day of collection, however it can be used for up to or 3 weeks. The blood is typically combined with an anticoagulant and preservative during the collection process. The first transfusion of whole blood was done in 1818, however common use did not begin until the first and second world war. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicine needed in a health system. In 1980s, the cost of whole blood was about 50 USD per unit in United States. Whole blood is no longer commonly used outside of the developing world and military. It is used to make a number of blood products including packet red blood cells, platelet concentrates, cryoprecipitate, fresh frozen plasma. Whole blood has similar risks to a transfusion of red blood cells and must be cross-matched to avoid the hemolytic transfusion reactions. Most of the indications for use are identical to those of the for the RBC. Whole blood is not used because the extra plasma can contribute to transfusion associated circulatory overload called as TACO, TACO a potentially dangerous complication. Whole blood is sometimes recreated from the stored red blood cells and fresh frozen plasma for neonatal transfusion. This is done to provide a final product with a very specific hematocrit that is percentage of red cells with type O red cells and type AB plasma to minimize the chance of complications. Blood components. Whole blood is now rarely used for the transfusion. Blood components therapy makes clinical sense as most patients require a specific element of blood such as red cells or platelets and the dose can then be optimized. Each component is stored under ideal condition. Example, red cells must be refrigerated and platelets should be agitated but not refrigerated. And the use of precious blood donations becomes more efficient. 